Hello people, in this video I've been making a car controller and not just one, not even two or three or four, but five different car controllers I've learned to make that I'll be sharing with y'all. And I would stick around for the last one since I think y'all are gonna like it, but let's get moving. So I begin here with a simple card here in Unity which is just made up of a cube and cylinders. And this will just be a temporary test card, but now we're ready for programming. Now that we have a cart model, for Unity, we are going to make our first controller with Unity's built-in wheel colliders. Now, I simply assign each wheel with a wheel collider component, then I tinkered with the variables to get the behavior I want. And lastly, I made a simple card controller program to control our cart and their wheels. So, this should be able to work, right? Nope. It turns out that Unity wheel colliders are just very unstable. I struggled to cross a simple obstacle course, and I even tried my best changing the wheel collider component parameters just so I could get the behavior I was looking for, but nope, I couldn't. Another thing is that the cart drifts so much even when I'm not even trying to. It drifts way too much to the point I can't race at fast speeds. It becomes too unplayable. And speaking of fast speeds, it's like it has infinite acceleration with the, when the motor forces just get high, but it has nice suspension, so... I guess you can give it that. Now, this controller is actually from a channel called Toyful Games, and I followed their tutorial from their game, Very Very Valet. A quick rundown on their controllers, each of the wheels project race to the ground and do spring physics on them to simulate car suspension forces, and the front wheels deal with the steering forces and the rear wheels with the acceleration forces. But I highly recommend watching their tutorial because they go into deeper insights on how their controller works and it's not fair for me to just give away all their insights. But first, I must change the card color to blue to keep y'all's attention. That's better. Anyways, after a few minutes of practicing, I was able to easily control the card compared to Unity's crappy wheel co colliders. But an issue I ran into this was whenever I make a fast turn, sometimes the card shoots up. But that's maybe because of the spring parameters I have, and maybe because I made this very poorly. But still, I love this car controller because it's robust and stable, and what caught my eye were the cartoonish behavior. So don't forget to check them out. I had an idea which is, instead of Unity's buggy wheel collider components, I replace them with spring components. So I tossed out the cartwheels, replaced them with sphere colliders, and paired them up with Unity's built-in spring components. Then I wrote a program that would control the cart movements, and my assumption here is pretty much spring components to deal with the cart suspension physics, while a controller program deals with the cart movements behavior. Before I lose your attention here, let me spawn some bunnies for you. Alright then, I had some fun with this method, way better than Unity's crappy wheel collider components. Anyways, there's some drifting here, it just feels a bit slow because it feels more like a hovering car than a regular car, and um, there's really not much to it, so smash that like button because I know you love this video. Because I suck at making car controllers, I found another tutorial, a more arcade light controller from a channel, Game Plus James. Now, how this works is, the whole cart is surrounded by the sphere collider and a program that adds more gravity for the cart and more features to enhance the driving experience. And of course, the steering and acceleration controllers. Because I've already watched this tutorial, I was already expecting the controller to be great. So, I had no problem going through the obstacle course and the driving experience was great, I guess. And because it was easy to make, I highly suggest you all following this tutorial as it's great for beginners that want to make their own card controller. But still keep watching because this has yet to satisfy me yet. I think this is going to blow your socks off. So finally, the final card behavior here that I developed is based off a hybrid of card 2 and card 4 with a little sprinkle and polishment I made to give more stability. What I did is kept card 2's spring physics to preserve some of the card turnish behavior and ignored everything else from there and borrowed card 4's steering controls and acceleration so we can also have their arcade style behavior. But I ditched their sphere collider and snapping of the ground. Now as far as from what I did, I <laughs> just made sure they'd still work as intended. But hey, I at least added some wheel spin to the cart. <laughs> But before y'all see the final cart controller, I went to Blender and made a new cart to replace the one that we've been using. So people, 
I introduce to y'all one of the new cart models here that I've made. A beautiful, nice looking car. Now let me know in the comments below what y'all think of this beautiful cart. So, as y'all see, it's got some similar behaviors from cart 2 and cart 4. Having the best qualities of both worlds. But as of now, it's still a bit of unstable, but it's doable for now for a race game. But with a little more polishing, I could probably make a more fun car controller. And unfortunately guys, I have to break the terrible news for y'all. We won't have any drifting mechanisms because I just want to come up with something my own. I want to put my own spin to it. So I hope y'all don't hate me. So that is it for this video, but I really hope y'all enjoyed this different style of video. Please let me know in the comments below because I really want to hear from y'all. And of course, smash that subscribe button because we are getting close to 100 subscribers. So, alright, thanks for watching.